Hi everyone, it's David again from Tackle Share, and we're at another beautiful spot in the GTA, this time at Port Union Waterfront Park in Scarborough. Lake, beautiful Lake Ontario behind me, it's overcast, it's a beautiful afternoon, and uh, we're trying some crankbaits and diver lures right here, because as you can see, we're a little bit off-road, so don't be afraid to get off the beaten path a little bit. The trail's right up here. Um, you wanna wear good footwear, and um, cast out there's lots of rocks and boulders here uh, for the fish to be hiding around we talked with another angler just down the shoreline who said he's catching lots of bass here so um, you know you're in a decent spot when you see people already fishing when you show up the port union waterfront park in scarborough is a beautiful location with free parking a playground public washrooms and lots of garbage and recycling bins. this site has lots of well-maintained trails to provide easy access to the waterfront Although once we got to the waterfront, we did find the urge to go off-roading a little bit to get as close to the shoreline as we could. For the most part, we fished along the waterfront close to where we parked, but the trail continues along the shoreline of Lake Ontario in both directions and provides easy access to more fishable shore. The spots we fished in this video were a bit steeper than the others, so if you don't mind the walk, there are options to access the water at a lower incline further down the shoreline. So one of the key things that we want to focus on when we're shoreline fishing, especially a new area, is to use a swivel. We'll show how to tie that on, but you see the swivel there? I can quickly switch my lure in and out as I want to try different techniques or different lures. Um, it's a lot easier, especially if you have children, to switch out lures for them if they get bored with one. Instead of having to tie a line constantly, you literally just uh, open it up the way any kind of um, safety pin would peel it off and then put another one on. So it's literally a two second change. So I'm just using one that looks like a little bit of a crayfish, little uh, crankbait, and we're gonna see what we get. You can expect to catch canfish such as pumpkin seed, bluegill, perch, as well as smallmouth bass, and even possibly pike or other species during other seasons. As David already mentioned earlier, that if you are going to venture from the walkway and navigate down the rocks, Proper footwear is advised, and you'll see a good example why in a minute. Fishing with a friend is always a good idea, too. All right. Woo! That's the pressure off. Okay. Nope. Get in there. <laughs> All of my fancy lures I tried six different ones, and then I put a, a hook, a bobber, and a worm, and then I finally get a little smally. All right, let's put him back. Oh. I was just trying to be nice to the fish. <laughs> Don't throw the fish and then that happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you get that all on video? Oh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so as David mentioned at the beginning of this video that uh, we're trying out a new location with a different sort of environment. So we decided to put on a snap swivel to allow us to change from different presentations without having to continually retie. So I started off with a, a white cotton cordell diver. It's called a big O um, and it rattles around really nicely. It didn't catch or didn't catch the attention of any fish. So I switched over to a crayfish pattern one and I still had no luck. So then I decided to do kind of like a mid water column presentation, which was a white jig head with white marabou, have a little bit of that flutter um, from the marabou in the water and I had no bites. So then my last, uh, strategy was to go to a Texas hooked uh, plastic bait um, with a, a weight on it which is called the Jika rig and I really like that because I can use it to fish a lot of area a little bit quicker and it has a bit of action to it and I tried that using both a, a pearl plastic like a white with a pearl appeal to it and then without that I went to my good old faithful which was the baby bass which is a green half green half white and I still had no bite so after all of that work switching from all those five different presentations I went back to old faithful which is my hook bobber sinker and a worm and don't you know what that's exactly what produced me a fish so I like to try different things in different areas but sometimes if you're not getting a bite good old live bait worm is such an easy presentation to ensure you're going to get a bite. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to this channel, and tap the notification bell to be informed when we release our next video highlighting urban fishing spots of the GTA. If you know of a hotspot location we should feature next, add it in the comments below. See you next time.